Peace, fam. It's your brother, oh God. Hip hop news uncensored. Hit that subscribe button. All right, Jay Z sent shockwaves through the world the other day by wearing a custom Colin Kaepernick jersey on Saturday Night Live. But it's really no surprise when you go back and look from Jay Z from '96 all the way up to now. He always kind of been kicking knowledge, you know, and kind of gave you and tried to drop jewels wherever he could. But I honestly and truly feel that the real impact is never going to be seen on the CNN or ESPN or something like that. You're going to find a real impact of these leaders and these activists. You're going to find it on the street, the street perspective. What are the youth or the younger generation actually thinking? How is it impacting them? How are these, you know, um, this what's going on in the world? These athletes and uh, celebrities and rappers now, moguls, billionaires, damn near, standing up right now for injustices. You're only going to find it in the street. Straight out of the conscious mecca, Harlem, New York, 125th. Let's go. Uh, yeah, so he, he looked like he ready. So now, athletes are, are crossing that line. They're stepping into straight up politics. They say, hey, of our people being brutalized, we are going to unite and physically demonstrate that by taking the knee during the anthem. Do you think uh, it's a good position, bad position, will be successful? What are your thoughts? Well, the thing is, is, is this with the uh, NFL, it's made of money, man. And they are, they are a big brand, they're a big business. But you got to remember, when you see uh, Donald Trump, it takes for Donald Trump to make a stance and say something about them for them to all want to take a knee when Colin Kaepernick was doing it and trying to make a stance and all these cats was making money in there. They ain't want to do nothing until it's directly affected everybody. When when it was affecting them, when they was getting called SOBs, now they want to say, well, F this. I'm going to take a knee and take a stance against this country. What will happen when the black man was dying for no reason and these kids getting shot? Nobody cared then besides that one quarterback that's out of a job still. These cats are still making money. You want to make a real demonstration? Yo, we don't want y'all money no more. Don't want no money. We're not playing. Mm. Ain't no more entertainment. Mm. We're not going to use the black man as a monkey in a cage on Sundays to say, Ooh, look at them bash themselves out. They running around with CTE. Can't do nothing about it. It's crazy. Yo, that is an astute observation, man. You covered all sides of that. So you just picked this up from news sources? or I mean, because you really are clear on the clearest perspective I've heard on that issue. How did you arrive at it? Well, you know what the thing is, is like, you got to be woke. You got to be aware of what's going on with this entertainment world, especially like you said, you wanted a young hip-hop perspective on it. Well, I'm out here every day on the grind. I'm, I'm like starting from the mud. So I kind of feel that kind of energy when I see these kind of things. And I make my synapses, put it in my head, and store it. But times like these, when somebody say, speak out on your opinion, I'll be ready. A lot of these cats, you got to ask them what they think. They don't even think. They don't have time to think. They ain't, they ain't capturing nothing throughout their days of being alive. They just here for the moment. I'm different. So that's how I arrived at my answer. But back to the grind. See y'all later. Saturday at the TV.tv. I'll let your boy.